When you first log on to Active PIM, you'll be presented with a dashboard. The dashboard is divided into three key areas. Buttons showing the last items opened for facility, floor, space, etc. The five most recently accessed facilities and the menu to the left hand side. Clicking facilities opens a complete list of all the facilities you as a user have permission to view and edit. In the top right is a search facility allowing you to find the facility you want, assuming you know the name or the code for that facility. We are going to use Harlow College facility as an example in this video. The code for the facility is PTSC. Clicking on PTSC opens the facility details and a summary of all the data for this facility. Clicking on systems in the left hand menu opens a list of all the systems for the example, in this video, we are going to use the doors system. Click on the green types lozenge in the doors row. A table is displayed listing all the doors in the system and includes a validation check column with percentage complete. Information that is still required can also be seen in some of the other columns. Columns such as manufacturer can be sorted to quickly show information required. Clicking on the percentage for one of the door types opens the validation summary, highlighting in red the data that is still required for this asset type. Looking at a percentage in amber, you see only the warranty data is still required for that particular asset type. Adding data can be done by clicking on the pencil icon. The data entry form will open. This includes boxes highlighted in red. The percentage complete is shown at the top of the form. Sections of the form can be open and closed using the chevron to the right hand side. Data that is complete is shown in green with a tick. In the example, the supplier manufacturer details are missing. Suppliers and manufacturers already assigned to the project are listed in the drop down. This asset type is manufactured by Cornier, who are listed. Once selected, all the details in the first section are filled in automatically. Click the Add Update Contact button. Notice that the percentage complete has now increased from 27 to 33%. This example shows completing some missing product details, the nominal sizes for the asset type, the height, width and length. Click Add Update Product to apply the new data. The percentage has now increased to 53 now let's add missing data for the warranty details required the warranty duration unit is changed to year two added to warranty duration parts to make it two years then one to warranty duration labor to make it one year click add update warranty to apply the new data percentage has now increased to 73